Hi, I'm Angela, an entrepreneur, a beauty queen, model, and mother. And my passion is to empower you to shine. So let's get the magic started. We're gonna dive into some serious blings today and take a look at some of my vintage precious rings. Stay tuned. We're gonna start with my engagement ring. This is a bespoke diamond ring um, that um, was, was designed by myself and my husband. It did make its debut uh, a few um, videos back and it is a one carat diamond um, and with a uh, design that has another one carat of little little diamonds okay and uh, yeah if you haven't seen it before you can even see the diamond from the back here all right so this ring is probably my favorite ring and um, yeah that's how it looks like on the fingers Ooh, loving it always okay let's go to my second ring i won't give the fine details just a quick introduction and perhaps in the later videos i'll go more in depth so this ring so this this diamond was bought in malaysia and the ring design in Singapore. This ring, it's a blue sapphire. Look how beautiful it is. It is a cornflower blue stone with um, diamonds around. It is a vintage piece that I bought in England, right? In the Bright in Brighton, the jewelry lanes. They, I love going there. And let's have a look at the back. Um, yeah. See how beautiful the detail is. So they call this the ballerina design because you know it's like a tutu skirt all around um, this this stone. And um, I presume because they can't weigh the stone, but I presume this stone is roughly um, two carats if you can compare to this. Okay, and. Uh, the diamonds, the big, it looks like baguette diamonds. I don't know, another carat of baguette or more than a carat because it seems like quite a quite a, a big ring, right? So let's have a look. This is a comparison. Okay, so pretty, so pretty. And um, this is another favorite. Um, it is ruby. Focus, this fo we're focusing really bad today. The ruby diamonds and blue sapphires. Can you tell the difference, the sapphires? So this is a darker blue. Okay, let's see. It is a darker blue. The cornflower blue, this one, is pricier than the darker blue when it comes to blue sapphires. Um, but I really, really love this design. It gives me a very vintage feel. It is bought um, 20 years ago over 20 years ago in Singapore. So beautiful. That's another favorite ring. So, and the next sapphire, um, okay, it's a yellow sapphire. Um, this sapphire was given to me by my dad um, from Sri Lanka, and I got it bespoke designed also roughly like over 20 years ago. I can't remember exactly the date. And um, yeah, I, I love it. I don't really wear it a lot. Actually, most of my jewelry, I don't really wear it a lot. It's only for occasions. Most of the time, they're kept in the safe in the bank. And um, yeah, so I presume that, you know, it's roughly, let's have a look. I didn't get them like weighed and certified, right? Because I didn't feel the need to. These are my heirloom pieces, are roughly the same size okay, as the blue sapphire and um, probably around two carats as well. Um, yeah, and um, let's see, there it goes. 
I'm just trying it on so that you can have a look. Let's put it on my pinky, it's better. Okay, so these are the four rings. Um, yeah, and the blue sapphire costs more than the yellow sapphire. And of course, rubies, when they're of a substantial size, cost more than most of the time the blue sapphires. But nonetheless, okay, we're going down to the next ring. This is a vintage Tanzanite ring, which I also bought in Brighton in the UK in the jewelry uh, lanes. I did live in Brighton for about um, three years um, for my children's education. And I am half British anyway, so I wanted the experience to live in England. And you can see, also the same, the stone, I presume is two, two and a half carats. Um, to correct me, if you think it's uh, not around the estimate. And you can see the design is so stunning. Okay, you know from my collection that I love all these high settings and bespoke uh, jewel design. I rather spend on a, a more intricate, unique design than a bigger stone. That's me. Um, and how about you? Would you prefer like a bigger stone like this? Okay, this is an amethyst with a very simple design. Uh, yeah. And more like a cathedral kind of setting. Um, yeah, like what is your preference? Um, yeah, so these are my jewelry. The, um, these are my favorites. I do own quite a few rings and um, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you prefer the Tanzanite? Amethyst, diamond, uh, yellow sapphire, the ruby sapphire, or this beautiful sapphire. So when it comes to me, um, I love them all. I can't really tell you which which is okay. Obviously, my engagement is my favorite, and uh, probably the most priciest. And then the second would be this. I really, really love this. And then probably the, for me, it will be um, yellow sapphire. It will be my third. Tanzanite, the ruby, and then probably, um, yeah, the amethyst would be, if that's in the ranking of favorites. <laughs> okay. So da -da 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 -da, these are just some of my uh, vintage rings for you to take a look at. And um, if you do, you know, shop vintage, I do see good qualities in them. The design is solid. Um, the gold is solid. The design is very unique. And um, I, you know, I think collecting vintage jewelry is um, art to me. It's like art. So. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite ring um, and if you are also uh, a collector of vintage jewelry. Cheers! Bye! To my next video!